All right, so yo, what's good with the YouTube? It's your boy Rome, and I'm back again with another video. So this was a little bit different. I had to switch up my camera for it, but today I am wrapping brake caliber. So not on the Mustang, but as you can see, my pops has his uh, Durango propped up. All right. So the goal of today is to wrap his brake calibers. So. Did one side so far. Looks pretty good. As you can see. And it's been about two weeks on this side. Got the back. So far, so good. No, I'm just making a video. So I'm making a video. So I've done mine so far. As you can see, turned out pretty good. Not perfect, but you know, what can you do? This one is actually lifting, so this is the worst one for me. I'm gonna have to redo it, but right now we're about to knock it out. So, first off, you want to make sure you take the wheel off, obviously, you can't do it with the rim on. Take the wheel off, clean it up. It's actually pretty dirty right now, so got a razor. Shout out to McDonald's for that ice latte. Got a couple towels that you don't mind messing up. Get them dirty. If you want some degreaser? Something that you can use to get all the dirt and grime off because it won't stick if it's dirty. <clears throat> some brake cleaner, brake pack, brake part cleaner. I spray this on afterwards. It cleans it and it leaves a little dry film like powder on it which makes it really dry, really easy for it to stick. So what I'm gonna do basically, is I'm gonna come down, wipe it off, get any dust and dirt off, spray it down with the degreaser, try and get any degrease off of it, and then hit it again with the cleaner. And then uh, wipe it down, then I'm gonna come back probably with some alcohol again, just to make sure I got absolutely everything off, and then start the wrap. And I'll show you guys what I do to wrap it. But I wrap it in two parts. So I wrap the flat surface on the back first, um, stretch it out, put it on flat, leave like a little seam somewhere on the face, and then I'll come back and hit the face and fold it back, and then I'll wrap these two pieces, and that'll be it for the front. All right, so here we go. Fairly simple. Like I said, all you want to do is just spray it down as much as possible. Get up in any little crevice area. Spray it down. Shit, and then wipe it off. Spend about a good 10, 15 minutes cleaning each way you do it with the degreaser, the brake cleaner, and the alcohol. But just spray it down, wipe it off. So I'm, I guess, roughly about halfway done cleaning it. And I just want to reiterate, um, this is probably the most important part of wrapping brake calibers. Um, specifically because it is high temperature and uh, this material isn't necessarily meant to be having stickers and stuff on it. So if you don't clean it properly, what'll happen is you'll start getting peeling like what I got. So I wrapped mine first and then I came back and attempted to wrap my dad's and his came out a whole heck of a lot better. Mind you, I wrapped mine about, I would say about twice already because I pretty much effed up each part that I did. <laughs> um, so it, it will happen if you don't clean it properly. And all I can say is what I did wrong in particular was like these little areas up in here i tethered to wrap that leave that out so when you cut it cut around and leave these little inserts leave these little inserts and shit like this out so you basically want to wrap it along the flat edges all along the edge here and leave all this exposed why because when you attempt to wrap up in there for one you can't clean it properly so it might peel because of that and for two, you can't really see it. So once I wrap it, you won't even tell that this is not wrapped. It just looks like this is a big cover that goes on it. And all this is red. And then that part right there is just kind of what's underneath the cover. It's like an optical illusion. But I said it's the best way to do it because you have a, a smaller chance of getting lifting because it's all flat surfaces, not a lot of curves. On this one, you pretty much got one flat surface, two flat surface, 
three flat surface. And if you cut it around the edges or the seams, you'll have a seamless wrap that won't peel um, or won't have any like uh, wrinklage or anything like that in it. So make sure you clean it properly and make sure you do it in multiple pieces. If you try to do it in one piece, it's not gonna work. Trust me, it will not work. All right, so when this comes, it comes like this. It comes in like a 12 by, I wanna say six inch sheet when you order it. Um, I order mine off Amazon, I order directly from them. So on Amazon, they pre-cut it. It's a pack of four, so it's one for each brake caliber on the car. So pretty much what I do when I get it, I'll size it up. <clears throat> so I'm trying to do this middle piece. It's actually broken down into three separate pieces. And I'm trying to do this middle piece. I'm trying to do the flat surface on this middle piece. So what I'll do is I'll pretty much measure it by hand. What you want to remember is nobody's going to be able to see the bottom. So you pretty much want to start your seam about right there and then fold it over. And you want your you want it to pretty much come all the way back to about the edge of right here, about the edge of right there. So I'm going to just measure it with my hand because I can always cut off any extra. And then what I'll do is I'll set it down. It's about right there. I'll cut a slice right across and then I'll start to mold it on this flat surface right here. Yeah, I just sprayed it with the other one. <clears throat> then when I come back, I'll hold it for you. Let me grab the water and I'll get a video while you work on it. Yeah. I'm gonna put a second coat on it. But for the most part, it's on that better than the other one was. The other one was even more than this color. Yeah, I'm just So if you can see what I'm doing, I'm basically cutting along the upper edge and folding that bottom piece down because the angle that you would be able to see it would be from the top. So all you would actually see is the color on the bottom. You wouldn't even notice if the top isn't filled. And that's an easier way for you to get it completely wrapped around and make it look as if that complete thing was painted um, and not have to worry about it. So all this extra back here, I'm gonna come with a razor and I'm gonna cut along the edge and remove all that extra. So it's gonna just be a clean line straight across and it's gonna stop at the edge so you don't have to worry about it peeling. And I'm gonna do the same thing along this edge and this extra, I'm pretty much gonna come with a, a razor and go just a little bit beyond that natural line that's right there. And then this back piece is complete. All right, so it's kind of windy. But basically what you wanna do is you want to mold it across the front and then you just wanna get it as uh stuck to the surface as possible then you can start seeing like the texture to it through the paper and then you want to make sure you get like a clean line across the inside or wherever you're going to cut you want to kind of like fold it over so you can see the crease and then you're going to cut out around it so you're not going to cut right at the edge but you're going to cut kind of where it starts to turn and that way you're going to have a clean line straight across and you're not going to be able to see the edge that you cut from a distance you, you can see it if you get up close but the average person ain't gonna be able to see where you cut it it's just gonna look like you painted the outside of it and just keep molding it keep pressing it if you got like a heat gun you can use a heat gun but i'm just using my hand if it seems like it's not sticking you might just want to start cleaning it a little bit more but that's about it and i'm gonna cut all this excess off so everything that you see that's not stuck down is pretty much gonna be cut off and i can come back and get like a little piece on this edge right here but if you do the back and then the front, it makes a clean look and it does you can't even tell that it was two pieces. It looks like one piece. 
All right, so this is where I'm at with it so far. Like I said, I cut out those little inserts right there and I molded it across a hard line. And then all you do is just come back and cut off any excess or just mold it in, like down here. I'm gonna mold it in and then cut around any excess that's in there. Same thing down here. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get a little piece and stick it right here. And you're not even gonna be able to tell that that part was missed. But from the side, looks pretty clean. And just little areas where it's like little pockets. You just wanna punch a hole in it and then mold it with another piece. So you just punch a hole, kind of cut it out, and then you can uh, just put another little piece, like these little extras that I cut off, and you can fill the little holes in with it with a separate piece so the air can come out and it won't bubble up on you. Like right here too. But for the most part, this whole piece is covered. You just gotta clean it up a little bit. Little pieces like this, you wanna just cut around because you don't want any jagged lines and stuff like that on it. And I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna hit this top, I'm gonna hit the bottom and move to the back side. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much what we're working with so far. I'm gonna slap the tie back on and look at what it looked like, but we got all three pieces wrapped. Now you got a little bit of wrinklage up here, but I sliced, I don't know if you can see it. I put a little slice in and let the air out. And up in here, same thing. So that's why it looks like that. And then I put one right there. And all it does is just let the air release. <laughs> So if it does ever get hot, it won't form a bubble because it's a slice, all that heat will come straight out of it. Any part that's kind of wrinkled got a little slice in it. So should be good to go. I'm gonna put the ruler on and see what it look like. Car caps. That's what we're looking like right there on the front. And that's what we're looking like on the back. I think it looked pretty clean. $30 mod. Alright, so here we go with the back ones. It's pretty much what I'm doing so far. So I'm wrapping this top piece. I wrapped this back piece. Then I wrapped along the front. And pretty much the natural curve, it curves in right here. So I wrapped along that and stopped. I wrapped along the inside edge and cut it. And then I wrapped along this edge right here and stopped. So the last piece I got is this bottom piece right here. And as you can see, it's all in any place where I felt like it would have been a bubble. I basically cut it. You can't see it. I'm going to put another piece in to kind of fill that. But I don't want any bubbles. I want all of it to be 100% stuck. I cut a little piece. Like right here, where I felt like it might bubble. And I cut a piece up here where I felt like it might bubble. And I just pressed it down with my nail. So it might not look as, I guess, good as if a professional did it. But I know for a fact I cleaned it very well. And then I laid it down and made sure there's no bubbling. So all the pieces that look damn near wrinkled will pretty much go away after riding around for about a day or so. It'll smooth itself out because um, the heat actually will make it stick better and the texture to it actually gives it a little bit more shine as you can see it looks really good and once the wheels are on it you won't be able to tell any of the imperfections on it it'll just look clean as it did before and I can show you the other side real quick so with the exact same process this is what we're looking like you get what I'm saying and this is what I mean when I say you can't really see it all you can see is that popping red you don't see any of the cuts or the lines around it. It just looks like it's painted and it's still shiny. That's two weeks. This is the second week of it. So this is two weeks of what it looks like. Same process. So I think it turns out pretty good. The smaller ones you can't see that well. The big ones on the front. Obviously a whole lot more red. But with the wheel on, you can't see any of the extraness. So it's pretty solid.